Bonnie. Early to bed, early to rise. Just gonna record a few thoughts. I've been up late. Um, I think I got the early to bed, early to rise in the wrong order. But I have, I've been busy, so I am gonna get a Go to bed early. <laughs> but um just before I, I do that and uh tend to uh, tend to uh few chores um and get my head down. Uh just thinking about um just pondering the word and thinking how that each day we die in Christ, we we die in our faith, and we live each day in our faith. And thinking back to the, the, the moment I was saved until the moment I'm saved today, I wanted to catch a thought I, I, I was having while I was uh, just lying here praying. How that, how simple that falling, all, all the trials and um, struggles and falls, the falls from grace and the recoveries and the grace of the Lord and the patience, mercy long suffering of Christ and Heavenly Father and by the Holy Spirit leading holding holding me up through that through the course and realising or being reminded, being refreshed as I die each each day and uh, pick up the faith. And uh, simply without that, it, you return to sin, you return to unbelief, and by not believing, you lose instantly or temporarily your fellowship with the Holy Spirit because you've blinked you've unbeliefed in and you've let go in your weakness to your flesh and your old way your old nature your old life your your death your dead life your old man satan the devil that you died that christ died in your place to deliver you from and you've forgotten your first love and you've we naturally fall out of fellowship every moment and I was waking up thinking how easy it is to just think oh I've got to go to work or just oh I've been sleeping, I, you know, it's caught up on me. I just, oh, I just grab a bite to eat, a cup of coffee, grab my keys, get in the car, oh, pray on the way, uh, pray always, pray on the way, and then you, you, you get into a habit, and you, uh, as each of us know, whatever little things distract us, we are. we kind of lose the discipline of dying every day and renewing ourselves every day in, in our walks 
Um, well hardened in the discipline of being weak and suffering free, not doing those things, hardly, really firmly and severely, and appreciating why, why, why you have all that problem, why you have that trial, it's because it's the Lord don't want you to have it. <laughs> It's quite simple, but that's what we do because that's what we are. We're sinners, and the the, the Holy Word teaches that we have to die every day, and that uh, if we don't live by faith, it's sin. So if we're not dying every day, we're sinning every day, and then we're out of fellowship, and we're going to get. We're going to pick up those keys, we're going to get in the car and then we're going to get up the road and we're going to say our prayers and we're not really, really praying, it's a learned behaviour, it's a pattern of something that you were once doing that you've let go of and now you're just regurgitating the shadow of your first love. And you're selling out, leaning over to take, you know, take back your, take back your life in Sodom and Gomorrah and Egypt. Your old way, your old, old habits, which we, which we, which none of us wanted in the, you know, we we put off we we've all we've all chosen Christ so we don't want those things but like Paul Paul said we we choose them because we don't put off we don't die each day in the faith and that was my uh, thought thoughts for the morning while before before I nod off and uh, uh, get on with my day uh, so um Maranatha to uh, everybody and, and God bless and have a great day uh, in the name, the close in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.